Another very common trend is customers using artificial intelligence to drive better voice of customer analytics. So here, you're taking all of the inputs from your customers. This could be social media, looking at feeds from Twitter, or all the emails from your support channels, support forums, and so on and so forth. Now, increasingly, because of the uh, uh, breadth of the cloud, more and more companies are able to operate on a global scale. And you'll have support and inputs coming from your customers in multiple different languages. So here, we can just use translate to translate all of that into English, and then pipe that English language into Comprehend. From there, Comprehend will look inside the text, and it'll start to identify the sentiment. It'll start to identify the entities, the people, places, things, products, uh, and the key phrases which are being used by your customers. From there, you can drop all of that into DynamoDB or Amazon S3 or Redshift and start running analytics using QuickSight or ad hoc queries using Amazon Athena. So what can we do here to improve on this uh, very common voice of the customer use case? Well, the first thing that we can do is uh, we can get upstream, and we want to be able to broaden support for more languages in Amazon Translate. So today, I'm very proud to announce that we're adding 12 new language pairs to Amazon Translate. <laughs> Japanese, Russian, Italian, traditional Chinese, Turkish, and Czech. And we'll have 12 more language pairs coming uh, by the end of this year.